lagers, pilsners, India pale ales, double IPAs, doppel box, Belgian goldens. That's right. It's all here on another round of Brews Day Tuesday. Here's Drez that's, and Big Nate. That's wrong. None of it's here. Damn it, Matt. Just some stupid hard to open. So, all right. So now I actually got to try yeah, and open this damn thing. A pain. Here, well, we got this bar key. Isn't Aren't isn't this actually made yes. for popping tops? But I don't like to surrender. Anything. There we go. I'm like a caveman. I'll chew it open before I do that. This is what you should be using because don't you you struggle with popping tops anyways, don't you? I do. I mean, I keep. I don't know how everyone else does it. I keep my nails like so short. I j well, is because you chew them. Yeah. I just clipped my nails last night, so I I I was struggling with that. But usually my nails do grow out and they get there. So so we're drinking Buzz Balls, which are I was gonna say all the rage with kids these days, but I have no idea. I I don't hang out with kids. <laughs> I not hang out with kids. Yeah, so I'm not too sure, but uh, I guess they're a thing. And at a whopping fifteen percent ABV, which is you know nothing to this uh you know really shy at, but uh 187 milliliters which we think is funny i think it's just because it's such a stupid container we did do the math 6.3 neither of those are going to look good on a label 187 6.3 so they're just 6.3 ounces would save them money in ink slightly yeah i'm gonna re redo their whole operation for them <laughs> So I just popped the Buzz Balls Chiller, Peach Chiller. So this is orange wine, it says, with orange juice, natural flavors, and certified color. So let me read that again. Damn certified color again. Well, this is the Peach Chiller. Orange. Orange wine with orange juice, natural flavors, and certified color. Concerning that peach wasn't once directly mentioned. Honestly, is it like that thing where pumpkin pie filling isn't made out of pumpkin? Yeah, well, now that I'm reading the fine print, and orange sounds better to me than peach. So maybe this is going to be better than I expected. We'll see. I got the uh, sour apple chiller. Orange wine with apple and lemon juices and natural flavors. And instead of using a comma, they used an ampersand between apple and lemon juices. Artificially colored with F, D, and C, yellow five, and blue number one. Also 15%. So I just realized I forgot to take a photo <clears throat> of the last one, but these actually, they do have, they're pretty colorful. My, my last one was green and lime, and the strawberry was nice and red. The peach one looks pretty peachy, like kind of a, a light orange, if you will. I haven't been able to check untapped because they're having an issue. They say, it's not you, it's us. Sit back and enjoy your beer. Oh, I wish while we fix our issue. So I don't know if these are on untapped or not. I purchased them without having that forethought. Now, Four Locos, I did look and make sure that they were on there. But these, I'm not so, sh I'm not so sure. And if I had to guess, probably not. That's what made me think of it was that it says wine. And yeah, that's well, that's an interesting color with that's your toxic apple. Avenger status. Mm. This can't be good for me. So I do want to. Oh, <laughs> oh. did we figure out what the sediment was? Was it was that this one? Yeah. OK, well, no, it's not. I don't know if there's sediment. Maybe I shook it up enough that I didn't notice that, but it is a bit peachy. Yeah, this is that must be the natural flavors. I'm using the air quotes if you're watching the Facebook Live or the YouTube. But mm, okay, yeah, the lime marito is much better. This is not going to get as high a score, but I do want to get a quick uh, shameless plug in for the hash. We're doing another hash this weekend. You might find a buzz ball out there to drink, but it is also there's also going to be non-alcoholic beverages because this is the family friendly hash that we're doing over in Christiansburg this weekend. So. Again, you can check uh, our website. The, website. the website will have the info there, and it'll have all the details, the Facebook page, Hokey Hash House Series. But we finally have, we're doing a family-friendly hash this time. I got shot in the phone. With, with you in mind, it's even, sh I, I'm told that the course is even stroller-friendly. So I'm sure there's going to be some, some variations, you know, you know, maybe Eagle Turkey, you can go this way for a little bit, but... You can even take a stroller on this one. 
And I was like, oh, great. You know, I know you got the little Lackland. He's stroller bound. But no, you're not coming. No, I'm not. Once man. again, you have an excuse. I was so I was so excited when I saw it. And then when I saw the date, I was like, son of a bitch. So I, it's a good reason where my brother-in-law is graduating from JMU. And so he graduated high school during the pandemic. And there was no graduation ceremony, no party. So we have taken it upon ourselves. Yeah, so that was the pandemic was four years ago. Yeah. So we've taken wow. it upon ourselves to make sure he has the best possible graduation ever. So it's a good reason. We've got a noble cause, but I am kind of bummed that we're going to miss the family. For yeah, that. that's fair. That's fair. Because, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like high school graduation party wise was a bigger deal than college graduation. So, yeah, that, that really does suck, man. To be a senior, I, I said that from the get-go. To be a senior in high school in 2020 would have been probably, I mean, short of, you know, somebody that actually got it and died, those old people or whatever, but that would have, that would have been yeah. the suckiest situation for that to be your senior year and have all of that just ruined. Yeah, it, 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 it's something he doesn't talk about it, but you know, and you could always kind of tell that it like upset him because for every other one of their children who had their graduation ceremony, they had a big party for all of them. Yeah, of course. So we we, we really got to do it up big. And uh, I, I keep throughout the like process of planning it, I keep getting asked questions like, uh, should we have this? Hell yeah. Oh, dude. The answer is always yes. Like I, I can't think of a reason not to. Well, here's the thing. Let's get a moon bounce. So as fun as... Are as cool as you know it is to graduate high school and have a big party. To have a huge party for graduating college is it got an even better element. Case in point, how many buzz oh, balls are buzz you going to bring <laughs> to the party? I, I actually think he does like the buzz balls. No, are you serious? He's in college, but he's. I know his go to is vodka. Okay. Well, yeah. Is that what you do? You get a buzz ball and then you cut it with, you add vodka yes. to it. You get it up to the uh, 12 ounces. There you go. Oh, that's Ooh. how you, no. Ooh. Ooh. And it could work because this is very, very flavorful. Uh, unfortunately, peach is not a good flavor for a buzz ball. This one's ball. actually really not. No? No. Bland? It's very bland. The sour apple? You. I was kind of expecting like. You're the... telling me you can barely taste it? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Like yeah. there's a faint hint of apple and then you can taste the alcohol, which is fine. I'm cool with that usually, but the apple taste is so subtle that it's almost weird. Again, like you, know, it would fall in that cleaning product category. Yeah, I'm not. Which is a shame because the color is so beautiful. I'm not so pleased with these. These were not as good as. The I'm just glad to get them out of the damn beer fridge. They were kind of it's bothering me. Space, they were sitting the in there, stack. sitting in there too long, so. But all right, well that's cool, man. Well, congrats. Tell them congratulations. So this, so this coming weekend is the. Are you have to? Are are you far far enough removed that you don't actually have to go to the ceremony, just the party? Well, because that's the. I mean, who wants to actually sit there? That, that was. I've been the to worst. a DMU graduation. I've been to two. I'm not doing that again. And I've got. Yeah. Three, Nobody actually wants I've got to go three to the graduation. That I don't have to go, but I think Cindy is going to go. Oh, it's her brother anyway. Yeah. It always is nice when there's like, okay, well, I only have three tickets to the grad. I, that's fine. That's the I, other thing. You know what? I'll give up my ticket to who somebody that really would want to see you walk across that. That stage. is another thing. People in the family are like campaigning because they've also all been to two GMU graduations. So they're campaigning to not have one of the tickets. It's like, you guys can't do it. I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys have to go. Yeah. That was always so boring. The, the only one. I went to, you know, I've been to a couple. One of them, we did it right. It was uh, a friend of ours graduating VCU, and they had it in their Coliseum, so everybody was there. What we did was we we dressed up. You know, it was a monu monumentous occasion, and obviously it's huge, you know, a huge arena. So we yeah. went down, we went down and waved. We we spotted her and waved, made sure she saw us. <laughs> Got and then we, out. we went to the bar. We immediately just went to a bar, didn't sit, didn't do any of the ceremony or nothing, and then just met up with her afterwards at the party. That well, I say that's even better when you can like now they live stream a lot of college graduations. 
So then you could really just like swoop in last minute, be back for the end of it. No exact. Oh, yeah. All the credit. That would do it. None of the work. Yeah, that's uh, that is pretty good. I yeah, I didn't think about that aspect of it. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. These buzz balls are kind of shabby. Are a bit shabby. I would I would definitely qualify them as shabby. If you had to get a high ABV beverage, and you're going to the Family Dollar that is heading out of business and um. 20% off. I would recommend the four loco pregames over the buzz balls. And if I'm not mistaken, those ones were they, was it, do you remember the ounces? It was like six or seven. I think it was seven. So similar. You got more. And I think they were cheaper. They were like small flats. They were, they were less expensive than the buzz balls and tasted better. And they came in, it were no, it was plastic. Plus, it's the brand you know, the brand you love, the brand you remember from college, Four loco. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, get yourself a damn good beer. Because yeah. that's what we need. Uh, this, is, this is... We're punishing ourselves, really. Yeah, I don't know why I did this. I guess I was just figured, hey, there's four flavors. Let's do it. But, yeah, I do not recommend these buzz balls. The peach one is going to get a much lesser score than me. I don't even think it's a three. I'm going to give this one down. This is like a two and a half. This is not very enjoyable whatsoever. I would not recommend this. I too, same boat, would not. There's a uh, quote on the side. It says, have a ball, two exclamation points. But I, I would highly recommend against having a ball, having now had. Well, we've had two. two. Maybe just one. Maybe that's yeah. the problem. We had yeah, one. That's right. Singular. Should have quit while we were ahead. That's a good point. Uh, it, this, the flavor is so light. All I can taste is the alcohol on it. Um. Which is a shame because, like, that's my second favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher is the uh, green apple. That's why I handed you that one. Honestly, I got a feeling yours is going to be better than this. I can give it a 275. That's probably fair. Slightly better, if I had to guess. So, as I said, we should probably get back to it. However, we may have a special guest mm -hmm. next week. We're still working out the details, but believe it or not, yeah, the beer might have to wait. And I do have quite a few shows worth of beer that I'm sitting on. If this works out, I feel like it's going to be worth it. I would agree. I would wholeheartedly agree. And I can tell you right now, we're going to be throwing out scores a lot better than a two and a half and a two seven five on this next show. If it doesn't work out, hopefully it'll be the one after. But yes, uh, Bruce Day Tuesday might be a Booze Day Tuesday next week. Ooh. Uh, here you go. There's your little tease. That's it for us. I'm going to take a quick break. We'll get back with some tunes. It'll be just tunes. JT's up next. Nate, I always appreciate you coming in here. and It's always a blast. And putting up with the buzz balls with me. Uh, he'll be uh, he'll be back on in the afternoon next week. You got those Judas Priest tickets. Or excuse me, next uh, tomorrow. Yes. Judas Priest <laughs> tickets. I got those in this moment tickets. And uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Yeah, a lot of good giveaways. Get all the info at 105.3thebear.com. And by the way, you can also catch up on previous Brews Day Tuesdays on the website as well as the YouTube channel if you want the video aspect of it. But right now, my video is pretty out of focus. I don't know if that might have been the whole time. Yeah, radio's first. That's what matters. So, all right, uh, that's a wrap. And uh, JT's up next. See you.